Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Asian preview and the North American wrap from Privateer FX. Our Swiss chart up here, highlighting the. Um, not sure what this level is doing here. Let's just take that line out. But anyhow, so we had that clean break the other day of 97.87, and uh, we've continued lower today. Um, we closed under the 200 day for the first time. Uh, the last time we were under there was back in uh, April, April 17th. And you can see what happened when we closed over the 200 day. It went parabolic to the top side and then kind of consolidated up and down, made a new marginal high. We got this, you know, kind of multiple highs up here. And it looks extremely <clears throat> heavy. To me. Having said that, we have some other indicators we're looking at are calling for a, a dollar to turn, and we mentioned that yesterday in our um, in our video in Asia. Um, just looking at the dollar or the euro dollar now as well. Um, you know, your your dollar and dollar Swiss are supposed to be your dollar is supposed to be topping out. Dollar Swiss is supposed to be bottoming, and uh, so I'm cautious here. I'm still short dollar Swiss. Uh, taking some back here. I had a 97 the figure. Uh, the real support. Um, let's draw the fib here real quick. Um, again, I use a couple different charting services. So this is my privateer charting service because I like how it looks on the video. Uh, so you can see here we're, we're through this 97.35 fib, we're through the 200 day at 97.51. I'd like to see one more daily close under this 200 day to really get excited about this. But the next real support is coming in somewhere between 96.50 and 96.30, we'll call it. Um, so that's where we're looking. Let's take a look at the dollar index. Uh, there, there's a couple things on the move here in Asia. Uh, Kiwi business confidence. Um, came in, uh, it made a fresh 10-year low. So Kiwi is under considerable pressure. It's down about 0.7%. Um, so here's a dollar in, uh, sorry, yeah, let's just, let's just pop over to Kiwi and see. You can see what has happened here. We'll go to the hourly chart. This thing just shit the bed, big time. Um, very weak business confidence data. We were taking out some old hourly lows. We go to the daily and we run the fibs and we try to figure out, oh, it's 240. Uh, actually, let's just run, yeah, let's run it from the 240. Looking at the Fibonacci swings to see where support comes in. And you can see here the low so far after this number was uh, 6660, we'll call it. And we got a Fibo pretty much matches up there. Let's look at the daily and see if there's any, uh, yeah, there's no moving average of, of interest, but th th this should be some support down here. First, first test of 66, uh, 66, 60 area. Uh, Australian dollar is just, uh, come under some pressure as well. All though outperforming the Kiwi dollar, but you can see here we had, uh, we had the, data that just came out, uh, the building approvals numbers, and uh, that number came in minus 0.5 point, or minus 5.2, and we were expecting month-on-month -month number to be minus 2%. The higher rates out of Westpac, which we think we'll see more of the big banks, AA and Zeds of the world, they will increase their mortgage rates as well. I believe they did 14 basis points. This is gonna put a big, it's going to be a problem for these variable uh, variable mortgages out of Australia. You know, let's not forget that they they came out of the financial crisis 10 years ago pretty much unscathed, similar to Canada. And uh, so their lending standards and their, they've been probably breaking all the rules that we did here in the U.S. for, you know, another 10 years. And, it, you know, a couple, of them, a couple of the banks that we talked to, the analysts, they're saying that this, this is a canary in the coal mine would be um, the, 
Australian banking sector. So you can see here on the hourly in the Kiwi dollar, we have just taken out this low of 6670, approaching this FIBO. Um, let's go over the Australian dollar. That's the hourly. See how it got hit pretty hard. Uh, let's go to the daily to find some Fibonacci support. And we'll use this low here. It's 72. High. We retraced ahead of those, uh, this, uh, the election results. We retraced that to the tick, three quarter Fibo. You know, this looks like the key support here now to be 72.40 and then 72 cents. Um, we're very bearish, these commodity, uh, the, the, the New Zealand and Australian dollars. Um, cable had a big move today, some positive developments out of uh, Barnier was speaking from the EU. And the market had started positioning for a no deal Brexit, only to be told that uh, Europe is looking for, you know, a long term and good partnership with the with the UK. But uh, a lot of work still needs to be done. And I think this is more of just a positioning squeeze in cable. The market was very well short. You can see how, you know, we had multiple down days and they sold some low ones down here against this 126.50 area. And uh, we snapped back up to 130.20. So we think be some more fall through so as far as the dollar goes we're, we're, we're kind of um, you got to be super selective it's almost turning more into a cross trade uh, we're looking for sterling out performance Australian dollar New Zealand dollar under performance <clears throat> um, euro I think is just going to get pushed pushed uh, pushed around on the crosses dollar Swiss looks heavy euro Swiss looks heavy um, dollar China is back up above 680. It's trading 68250. So it, it it's it definitely feels more cross driven than straight dollar, and we'll we'll try to play that for over the next couple of days. Um, that should do it. Not a whole lot out tomorrow, but uh, good luck trading, and we'll speak down the European Open. Cheers.